All right, I ask that we find ourselves in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in a half lotus. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you as we use this seat to help us become relaxed and centered here today. <sighs> Noticing how our bodies feel as we are finding our relaxation. Maybe we can gaze down, closing our eyes. Allowing the down gaze to help us relax and go inward. With our tummies nice and tight and our spinal cords nice and long, meaning our back is not sunken. We want to be nice and tall, nice and straight, having control of our bodies. With our shoulder blades relaxing downward away from our ears, completely relaxing our bodies our facial muscles nice and relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Breathe in deeply. Hold the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Taking notice of how that breath feels within the body. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we continue to gaze down and sit in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. With our thumbs touching our sternum, we may find that our mind and bodies are becoming centered and grounded here today. Nice, deep, intentional breath in, filling our lungs with air, holding the breath. Exhale through the mouth. Nice, deep breath. As we breathe our palms above our head and our seated salute, Reaching our palms upwards towards the ceiling, feeling that stretch. Our tummy is nice and tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. Reaching our hands up, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist right side. Softly gazing over that right shoulder. We are relaxing and soothing our spinal cord. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to center, coming into a seated star, feeling that stretch. Exhale to seated salute, breathe up. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that shoulder, feeling that spinal twist here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to center, coming into our seated star, Breathe in as we come to our seated salute. Exhale the prayer. Allowing our thumbs to relax beside our bottoms. Our palms are on the earth next to our buttocks. As we allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we're going to do a side bend here, filling that C-spine. Our right shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth. Tummies tight, gazing our eyes down. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. Three breaths. Exhale into center, both palms are on air. As our bodies lean towards the left, right arm goes over the head, allowing that left shoulder to relax downward away, closer to the earth. Three breaths. Exhale back to center, palms are on the earth as we breathe our palms above our head in our salute. Exhale into our prayer as we allow our thumbs, our fingers to touch our shoulders. We're going to work on relaxing the upper parts of our bodies by doing a couple of shoulder rolls towards the back. 
We can go as fast or as slow as we choose to go. Noticing how this feels in the upper parts of our bodies, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, rotating them towards the back, completely filling the pose. Three more breaths. As we find our pause and rotate our shoulders opposite direction. Noticing how this feels. Three more breaths. As we find our pause and extend our arms outward towards the side. Our palms can be down, they can be up. Whatever feels good for you as we continue to work the upper parts of our bodies. Rotating our arms forward. Feel in the shoulder rolls here. The arm rolls. We may notice that these small movements are already starting to work our muscles here. Sometimes we don't have to do big things to have an impact on the body. Three more breaths. As we find our pause and rotate in the opposite direction, noticing how this feels. Our arms may be starting to burn. We're almost done. Four more breaths. As we find our pause and breathe our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch, fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Spinal cord gets nice and long. Reaching up, feeling that stretch. Maybe we can interlace our hands together above our head. Chest comes forward, allowing our hands to go slightly towards the back. Feeling that slight back bend. Noticing how this relaxes the upper part of our bodies. Three breaths. Exhaling to salute. As we breathe to our prayer, relax in the body. We're gonna stay in our seated pose here, grounding ourselves just a little bit more. We're gonna come into a staff pose, bringing our legs side by side parallel. Noticing how this feels. Our backs are nice and long, nice and tall. Tummies are nice and tight. As we breathe, our palms above our head and our suit. Exhale to prayer. As we hinge at our hips coming into our seated forward fold, reaching down towards our ankles or grabbing our feet, if that feels good for you. This pose here is a full body stretch. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down, taking nice natural breaths, noticing how the breaths allow us to go closer towards our thighs. Three more breaths. As we exhale to half forward fold, breathing back up to our staff pose. We're gonna bend our feet coming into a bound position, either butterfly or diamond. Our feet are together in our butterfly. Our feet are closer towards our body. That is a nice deep hip opener here. If this is too hard, too difficult, too, or too tight in our hips, we can flow into a diamond by bringing our feet slightly away from our bodies. Noticing how the poses feel and go with whichever pose feels good for you, either butterfly or diamond. Simply just allowing our legs to relax down, noticing how that feels. Maybe we can place our palms on or our forearms on our legs and slightly push them down just a little. Noticing how that feels, two breaths. Relaxing the body here. As we allow our palms to touch our feet or our ankles, and may we slightly hinge at the hips. This is going a little bit more deeper into our hips. This is a hip opener. So if we ever have any clients who have tight hips, this is a nice pose that we can get them to do to relax the inner parts of their thighs. As we are leaning forward, our chest comes closer towards our feet. Noticing how that feels. Only going down as deep as your body comfortably allows you to go. We're gonna hang out here and now forward fold four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe up to our diamond or our butterfly, noticing how that feels. With our palms still connecting to our feet or our ankles, we're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows. Lifting our chest forward, chin comes slightly up. We are in our cow. Exhaling our chin towards our clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. We are in our cat. 
and maybe do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath, noticing how it feels within a body. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pulse, using our palms to bring our legs and we're, we're gonna work on a boat pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles if that feels good for us. And we are in our boat pose variation here. If anyone wanna go a little deeper, we can straighten out our feet with our arms parallel, noticing how this feels. In our boat pose, we are working our abdominal muscles and our obliques. We are also balancing our bodies here. If anyone wanna go straight up into that full boat, feel free to do that too. Maybe we can play around with all three and notice which one feels best for us and our bodies at this very moment. We're gonna play around with full pose, five breaths. Three more breaths. As we find our pause here in boat pose, may we cross our feet at our ankles. We're gonna go a little bit more deeper, just doing a couple of pulses here by crossing our feet. Noticing how this keeps our bodies balanced and we can feel it a little bit more deeper in our abdominal muscles. Yes, we are working on strengthening our core here today. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, legs and palms are, par are parallel side by side. And we may feel our legs already starting to burn. And we're gonna keep on flowing here by doing a couple of side taps. Tapping from left to right. We can go as fast or as slow as we choose. Noticing how our bodies are balancing and we are continuing to work our core. Five breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. Our bodies are starting to get nice and warm here. As we find our pause, coming back into our diamond or our butterfly. This here is a relaxation pose to what we just did. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into that forward fold, with our eyes gaze down, our heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Taking nice natural breaths regulating our heartbeats. May we hang out here four more breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. As we slowly come up, using our palms to bring our legs together Coming into a cat cow, or coming onto our hands and our knees, I'm sorry. Coming into a tabletop position. With our tummies nice and tight, knees are hip distance apart. Slightly gazing forward as we drop down to our cow, noticing how this feels in our spine. Exhale into our cat. And maybe do a couple of cat cows to our natural breath. Finding our paws at table, just hanging out here for a couple moments. Tummies nice and tight. Two more breaths. As we allow our bodies to, we're gonna work on the thread the needle, bringing our right arm out towards the side. And we're gonna thread this needle through our left, allowing our heart chakra to come downward towards the earth. Completely relaxing our bodies here. And if we choose, we can wrap our, our left arm around our backs going deeper into this pose. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward with our eyes closed or gaze down. Four breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle, coming back to our table as we drop down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. 
flowing back to our table as we thread the needle opposite side, left arm goes out. Threading that left arm through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth with our eyes, closed or gaze down. Shoulders melting forward, we are completely relaxed. And if we choose, we can take our right arm and wrap it around our backs, noticing how that feels. Hanging out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, finding our bodies back into our table, dropping down to our cow, exhale into our cat, flowing back to our table. As we find ourselves coming into a seated position just for a second, <sighs> Bringing our palms at heart center. Maybe take a nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist right side, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhaling back to center, palms up in the air, reaching the palms up, breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that shoulder. We are warming up our spinal cord here. Exhale, and back to center, palms in the air. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Exhale, back to center, palms in the air. Breathe in. Seated twist, opposite side. As we find our bodies back at center, we're gonna come on back into our tabletop position. Coming on to our hands and our knees. These are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. Coming back to our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet, maybe we can Walk our dog by pedaling our feet, noticing how that feels in the body. <sighs> Breathing to our up dog. We're gonna work on the upper parts of our bodies here just for a moment. And our up dog, noticing how our thighs are all fierce. Chin slightly up, tummy's tight. Two more breaths. Exhale back down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, going deep in that stretch here. Coming forward, coming onto our forearms, dropping down to our dolphin. As we walk our feet closer towards our torso, you may notice your buttocks comes higher in the air. We are applying a lot of pressure on our forearms here. This pose here is a headstand prep pose. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, we're gonna come into an extended puppy pose, bringing our arms in front of us, buttocks is in the air, and our heart chakra comes towards the earth. We are in our puppy pose, slightly gazing forward, noticing how the puppy pose is very similar to the child's pose. Taking nice natural breaths with our heart chakra connecting to the earth. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Mm -hmm. With our palms flat on the earth in front of us, we're gonna spinal wave our body, using our palms to bring our bodies forward, yes, and using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels of our feet. We are doing a spinal wave here. Noticing how this spinal wave feels in the body. It is relaxing and soothing that spinal cord. Playing around, we can also wiggle our bodies at our hips. Noticing how that loosens up and relaxes the lower parts of the spinal cord. With our tummies tight, maybe play around in our spinal wave, four breaths. <sighs> Going as fast or as slow as we choose to go. Two more breaths. As
As we find our pause at center, we are back into our table. As we drop down to our cow, exhale to our cat. We are back in our table as we flow to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedal on our feet, walking our dog. As we come into a three-legged dog, right side, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. And for those who choose, we can bring that right foot towards that left buttocks, opening up that hip, noticing how this feels. And if we choose, we can flow over to our wild thing. If that feels good, feeling the spinal cord, relax. This is a nice deep back bend. Feeling this stretch, two breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale, flowing back to down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Pedal on our feet, walking our dog. With our tummies nice and tight, we're going to flow to a three-legged opposite side. Left legs in the air. Gazing back at that foot. Maybe we can bend our left foot towards our right buttocks. Noticing how this feels, hip opener. And for those who choose, maybe flow over to that wild thing, stretching the body. Noticing how this is a nice deep spinal bend. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, coming out, down dog. Gazing back at our feet, pedaling, walking our dog. As we come to a three-legged dog, bringing that right leg in the air nice and high. And we're gonna swoop that foot forward, coming into a pigeon, bringing that right foot in front of us. Relaxing the body down. This pigeon pose is prepping our bodies for our tiger pose. Taking a nice deep breath here, relaxing the body. Our body's probably is already starting to sweat. Maybe we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon, just giving our body a moment of rest. Bringing our palms in front of us if that feels good for you and allowing your forehead or chin to relax down with our eyes closed or breaths. Allowing our shoulders to melt forward. Completely relaxing the body here. Three more breaths. <laughs> As we slightly awaken from that sleeping pigeon, using our palms, to push our bodies up, we are awakened, noticing how that feels. As we slightly gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist here, we are relaxing and loosening up our spinal cord. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. As we softly gaze over that left shoulder, maybe allowing our left arm to reach back towards our left leg, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, both palms are on the earth in front of us as we use our palms to lift our bodies up, feeling that back bend here. Just simply lifting our bodies up, noticing how this feels. Three breaths. Two more breaths, relaxing the body with the breath. For those who choose, maybe go into a pigeon, a king pigeon by reaching our right, I'm sorry, our left hand back towards our left foot and connecting that foot into our hand. Noticing how this feels in the body. This pose here is prepping our bodies for our tiger pose. So we have our palms and our foot interlace connecting. For those who choose, they can actually bring their, they can bring their foot into their elbow if they can get that deep. May we simply hang out here, taking natural breaths, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As 
as we slowly relax that foot downward, bringing both palms together, bringing both hands in front of us, framing that front leg. As we take a nice deep breath in, breathe in. Exhale back to down dog, bringing that foot back to the back. We are in our down dog. Head on our feet, walking that dog, gazing back. Finding our paws, pushing our torsos towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Breathe in, exhale, up dog. Gazing forward, our thighs are off the earth in our up dog. Chin is slightly up. We are building strength here in our arms. Three breaths. Exhale, down dog. As we flow to a three-legged dog, left side, bringing that left foot in the air. Breathe in. Exhale, coming to pigeon opposite side, bringing that left foot forward, crossing that left foot in front of the body. Noticing how this feels, two breaths. <sighs> and maybe we can flow down to a sleeping pigeon just for a second, crossing our palms in front of us, our arms, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward with our eyes closed or relaxed down as we use this time to go inward and relax. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly come out of that sleeping pigeon, using our palms to push our bodies up. As we softly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist. Exhaling back to center. As we gaze over that right shoulder, maybe allowing our right hand to connect to that right leg, feeling that stretch. Exhaling back to center. Gazing forward, using our palms to push our torsos away from the earth. Noticing how that feels. It is a back bend here. We're just simply warming up our spinal cord, preparing our bodies for our tiger. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. As we find our bodies relaxed, maybe we can take our right hand and reach our right hand back to our right foot, connecting our right foot and our hand together. Noticing how this feels. Our chest is up, torso is up, feeling a stretch. And if we want to put our foot, relax our foot and our elbow, feel free to do so. Of course, with this um, king pigeon, we also can use a strap, having a strap wrapped around our feet as well. And we're going to hang out here and relax in this pose, five breaths. Three breaths. <laughs> As we slowly allow that foot to relax to the back, bringing palms in front of us, relaxing the body. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, down dog. Flow into our up dog. Breathing to our high plank. Oh, tummies are nice and tight here. Relax in the body. Three more breaths. As we flow down to our low plank or our chaturanga, covering over our mat, two breaths. As we relax down, coming into our cobra, noticing that in our cobra, our thighs are on the earth. However, when we're in our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. So taking notice of the two poses, three more breaths. We can come down to a baby cobra by coming closer towards the earth, if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. <sighs> Noticing how in this cobra, it is a slight back bend. <sighs> As we relax down, coming into our Sphinx pose, we are on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. 
This Banks pose is also a slight back bend. Chin slightly up, shoulders relaxed away from the ears. Noticing how this feels in our lower back. We are preparing our body for tiger. Three breaths. Taking our palms, placing our palms directly in front of us on the earth. We're gonna use our palms to push our bodies up into a seal. Noticing how we're coming from a sphinx to a seal. A seal pose is a little bit more deeper back bend here. With our chin slightly up, noticing how this feels in the body. Now, if any of these poses, these back bends, cause any pain to the lower back, when we go into our tiger, maybe we'll just not go so deep into that tiger. As we relax down in our still, in our still, two breaths, checking in with our bodies, seeing how we feel within. Natural breaths. As we push back up to that seal pose, using our palms to push our bodies up, noticing how this feels in our lower spine. Two breaths. Exhaling down to our sphinx pose, relaxing the body. Bringing our palms closer towards our chest, coming up into our cobra or our baby cobra. Chin slightly up, three breaths. Exhale to our up dog, thighs are off the earth. Chin slightly up. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Dropping down to our dolphin, coming onto our forearms. Walking our feet towards our torso, butt come higher in the air, butt out to higher in the air. Dropping down to our knees, we're gonna come into an extended puppy pose, bringing our palms in front of us. Butt out is in the air, heart chakra comes towards the earth as we slightly gaze forward. We are in our puppy pose, still in this back bend here. Four breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. And if anyone want to go into child's pose, feel free to flow in the child's pose. Three more breaths. Hmm. With our hands extended in front of us, we're going to come into a couple of spinal waves, using our palms to push our torso forward and pushing our torso backwards. Doing a couple of spinal waves and maybe hip circular rotations, whatever feels good for you. Four breaths. As we find our pause, we are back to our um, tabletop position, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. As we are back in our table, and we're gonna work on a sunbird pose. We're gonna keep both our palms on the earth and we're gonna bring our right foot towards the back. As we are gazing forward in our tummy, our core is nice and tight. This here is a balancing pose. If anyone is losing their balance or if we have clients who have balancing issues, we can always allow them or, or give them the option to lower their toes downward towards the earth. Noticing which one feels good for you. Leg up toes down. Once we gather, I see people are already flowing. Yes, we're going to take that left arm and bring it forward, gazing forward. We are in our complete sunbird pose here. You may be feeling your body starting to strengthen and balance. We're going to hang out here five breaths. Three more breaths. Almost there, two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, breathe in. Feeling that breath. Exhale, knee to elbow, tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it, two breaths. Tummy crunch. Exhale, back to bird. Relaxing back to our table as we drop to our cow. Feeling that top, that spinal bend here. Flowing back to our cat. 
We are back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back. Keeping in mind that we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth. Once we find our balance, we're gonna bring our right arm forward, gazing forward, tummy's nice and tight, feeling our body's balance here. Holding this pose, five breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. As we fill our bodies balance, two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow, holding it in, two breaths. Body's nice and warm here. Back to bird, flowing back to table, drop into cow, exhale to cat, back to our neutral. As we bring that right leg back towards the back, both of our palms are on the earth. We're gonna do a couple of leg pulses, lifting our feet up in the air. We are working our gluteus maximus. Our core is nice and tight as we are gazing forward. Four breaths. <sighs> Finding our paws, lifting our leg up in the air, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch, holding it up, three breaths. <sighs> Exhale down to table. We're gonna flow to the opposite side, bringing that left leg towards the back, doing a couple of pulses, lifting the leg up, feeling that buttocks crunch on the opposite side, gazing forward, five breaths. <sighs> three more breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna lift that leg up nice and high, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch there. Yes, feeling that crunch. Two more breaths. Exhale back down, drop into our cow. Exhale to our cat. Coming back to our table as we bring that right leg back in the air. Maybe bend that knee, allowing our foot to be up in the air. We are now working on our tiger. We are in our tiger. Slightly lifting our legs, slightly higher, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch, like we're doing a pulse. Yes, we are in our tiger with our bodies gaze forward. Noticing how this feels. Holding this pose, two breaths. Simply getting used to the pose here. <sighs> and for those who choose, it don't matter which arm we go, may we extend our arm to the backs of our foot Noticing how this feels. This is a balancing pose. It's also a stretching pose. So reaching back. Whew. Noticing how it feels with one side. And maybe we can switch hands and notice how it feels with the opposite hand. Notice on which one feels best for you. Feeling that stretch. We're gonna play around here, connecting our hand to our right foot. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Relaxing back down. Coming to our hands and our knees, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Flowing back to our table. As we switch sides, Bringing that left leg towards the back, lifting it up nice and high. As we bend that left foot, foot is up in the air, and we're gonna pulse, lifting that gluteus maximus up nice and high, feeling that burn, feeling that burn. We are in our tiger as we are gazing forward, tummy's nice and tight. Noticing how this feel, hanging out here, five breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. And for those who choose, who wish to reach their hand back, either left or right hand, we're going, to, we're going to connect the hand to our foot, noticing how that feels in the body. <sighs> feeling that stretch, feeling our body's balance. <sighs> and maybe we can switch sides, noticing how it feels when we connect the opposite hand to that foot. Simply playing around and having fun. 
four more breaths. Exhaling out, coming back to our table. As we flow to our cow, exhale to our cat. We are back to our table. We're gonna widen our legs slightly. We're gonna come on down to a child's pose or a puppy pose. Heart chakras connecting to the earth. Our palms are extended in front of us with our shoulders melting forward and our eyes gaze down. We're gonna use this moment to relax and center and soothe. Six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Maybe take a nice deep breath here. Exhale, allowing our bodies to continue to relax in our child's or puppy pose. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. With our hands extended in front of us, maybe do a couple of spinal waves using our palms to bring our torso forward, push our torso backwards. As we find our pause, we're gonna come back to our table and drop down to our cow and flow to our cat. We are back in our table. As we thread the needle one more time, bringing that right arm off to the side, threading that right arm through the left, heart chakra comes down towards the earth. Bodies relax. We can wrap that arm around our backs. Hang out here for breath. Hmm. This thread the needle is a relaxation pose as well as a little stretch. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, we are back to our table. As we thread the needle opposite side, left arm comes out, threading that arm through the right, heart chakra comes down towards the earth, wrapping that arm around our backs. If we choose, eyes closed, four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Unwrapping that arm, unthreading that needle. We are back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. Back to thread the needle as we bring that right leg towards the back. Extending that left arm, we are in our full sunbird. Tummy's nice and tight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird, flow into table, dropping down the cow, exhale to cat, back to table, sunbird opposite side, left leg goes towards the back, right arm goes forward, we are in our full sunbird, Tummy's tight, gazing forward, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, back to bird, 
knee to elbow, back to bird, knee to elbow, flowing back to bird, coming back to our table, bringing that right leg back towards the back, bending that knee, foot is up in the air, lifting that foot up higher, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch here, we are in our tiger. For those who choose, reach either hand that feels best for you, hand to foot, still in that stretch, lifting that leg higher in the air. Once that hand connects to that foot, filling that stretch even deeper, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus, two more breaths. Having fun in the pose. Exhale, relax, and now coming back to that table. As we switch sides, bringing that left leg towards the back, bending that left foot, that left knee foot is in the air, lifting that leg up higher, feeling that gluteus maximus crunch. And for those who choose, we are in our tiger. For those who choose, we can take our hand, whatever hand feels best for you, and connect that hand to that foot, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Hanging out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. We're gonna do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Still in a stretch. Having fun. Exhaling out, coming back to that table as we drop down to that cow. Exhale to cat. Back in our table. Up to down. We're gonna go to up, I'm sorry, down dog. Down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Pedal on our feet, walking that dog. As we breathe our right foot to our right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second as we flow up to our high lunge or our warrior one. We're gonna work on the lower parts of our bodies now. Building strength in our legs. High lunge, warrior one here. Three breaths. <sighs> Exhale to warrior two. Work in the lower parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Going back to warrior one or high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. As we flow to reverse warrior. Three breaths. Exhale to side angle or extended side angle and I will extend it our arms up in the air three breaths <sighs> going back to warrior two exhale warrior one high lunge twisting that back foot forward coming into a runner's lunge slightly bending that front knee as we straighten that front leg coming into a pyramid Front leg is straight, our torso relaxes over that leg. This here is a counter stretch to the poses we just did. With our eyes closed or relaxed down, taking natural breaths, allowing our torso to relax closer towards our leg. Our heart chakra is connected to the thighs. This is a relaxation and soothing pose. Four breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Take a nice deep breath in. Bending that front knee, coming back to that front lunge. Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at that foot, pedaling our dog, walking our dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Going to our high plank. Slightly coming forward just for a second. Tummy's nice and tight. Warming up our bodies. Exhale back down dog. Bringing our left foot to left hand. We are in our runner's lunge opposite side. Hanging out here two breaths. As we breathe up to our warrior one or high plank. Building strength on the opposite side of our legs here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. 
as we flow to warrior two. <sighs> Relax in the body here, two more breaths. Exhale back, warrior one, or high lunge. <sighs> Breathe back, warrior two. So let the body get nice and warm here. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, reverse warrior. Three breaths. As we flow to extended side angle or side angle. And now we extend it, our arms up in the air or over our head. We're wrapped around our backs, whatever we choose. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale back, warrior two. <sighs> Breathing to warrior one, high lunge. <sighs> As we frame that front foot coming into that runner's lunge. <sighs> As we straighten out that front leg coming into our pyramid. Allowing our torso to relax over that thigh. This here is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. Taking nice natural breaths. Allowing our bodies to relax. Eyes gaze down or closed. As we hang out here, more breaths. <clears throat> Two more breaths. Heart chakra is relaxing on our thigh. We may feel our heartbeat starting to regulate. Two more breaths. <clears throat> We breathe in. Exhale, run as lunge, bending that front leg. As we flow back to down dog. Gazing back at our feet, walking our dog. We're gonna continue to flow here, coming into our complete forward fold. <sighs> Covering our torso over our thighs. This complete forward fold is a body stretch. Allowing our torso to completely relax down. And for those who choose, may you flow into a rag dial, hugging, your elbows with your hands, allowing your head to completely relax down. Noticing how this feels in your lower body. Noticing how this feels in your mind. Five breaths. And if anyone chooses, you can rock from side to side, simply having fun. Five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we find our pause and we flow to our half forward fold, slightly gazing forward, chin slightly up, noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale, complete forward fold. Going to our half forward. As we breathe to our mountain pose, our Tadasana palms are at our side, feet are parallel. As we pedal our feet from side to side, simply checking in, noticing how this feels. Two breaths. Finding our pause, breathing our palms above our head in our salute. Feeling that stretch, interlacing our palms together, coming up on our tippy toes. We are in our full standing body stretch here. Heart chakra comes forward, hands reach towards the back. Feeling that stretch. We are on our tippy toes if we choose. If not, we can be flat on our feet. Chin slightly up. Two more breaths. Exhale into our standing salute or extended mountain. Notice that when we are in our standing salute, our palms are together above our head and our salute. When we're in our extended mountain, our palms are side by side. That is the difference between a standing salute and an extended mountain. Two more breaths. As we breathe in and allow our bodies to lean towards the right, we are in our standing crescent moon, right side. Feeling that side bend. Chin is slightly up. Tummy's nice and tight. Two breaths. Exhale to center. Crescent moon, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale 
circle back to center. As we breathe to our standing prayer, palms are at heart center, shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. Thumbs are connected to our sternum with our eyes slightly gazed down. We're gonna stand here maybe for two breaths. As we bend our knees, working the lower parts of our bodies, we are in our chair pose. We can keep our palms at heart center or we can extend our palms in front of us. Noticing the difference from how it feels with our palms in front of us or extend it. <sighs> Three more breaths. If our palms are extended, maybe bring them at heart center. As we breathe in and flow to a chair twist, right side. Three breaths. Exhale to center, chair twist, opposite side. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, extending our palms in front of us. Two more breaths. Exhale, forward fold, complete forward fold. Noticing how this is a counter stretch. It relaxes and soothes the pose we just did. We're gonna hang out here five breaths. Three more breaths. As we exhale to a half forward fold, breathing back to our mountain pose, our Tadasana. Exhale into our standing salute or extended mountain. Breathe into our standing prayer as we hinge at our hips, half forward fold. Flow into our complete forward fold. Walking our palms forward, coming into our down dog. As we flow to our high plank, hovering over our yoga mat. Two breaths. As we twist to our side plank, lifting one arm up in the air, we can come into a low plank if that feels good for us. This here is working our abdominals as well as our obliques, as well as our arm, of course. For those who choose, we can extend that arm over that head, feeling that side stretch. Two breaths. Exhaling back out to that plank. As we flow back to that down dog, gazing back at our feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Exhale back, high plank, tummy's nice and tight. Two breaths. As we flow side plank, opposite side, either high plank or low plank, whatever you choose. Two more breaths. For those who choose, we can extend that arm over that head, feeling that side plank stretch. Two more breaths. Breathe in as we exhale out, coming back to that down dog. Walking our dog, head on our feet. Exhale to up dog. Thighs are off the earth here in our up dog. Chin slightly up. Exhale, down dog. Come into our complete forward fold. Flow into our rag dial, hugging our elbows with our hand. Maybe, maybe Yogi walking our feet slightly apart, hugging our elbows, rocking from side to side. <sighs> Noticing how this feels when we walk our feet slightly apart. Noticing how we gain more of a balance and a stance by bringing our feet slightly apart. So that's a nice option to give to our clients. Two more breaths. As we allow our feet to come even wider apart, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Oh, we are working on our inner thighs once more. Feet are spread apart. Bodies are completely leaned forward here. We are hinging completely at our hips. We are relaxing. Our head is melting downward towards the earth. 
oh, our bodies are completely relaxed. We are feeling a stretch behind our legs and our hamstrings and our, and our inner thighs. Yes, maybe we can connect our hands to our ankles if that feels good for us. <sighs> Connecting our hands to the floor, whatever you choose. And if anyone chooses to, we can actually flow onto our heads. I see someone is already there, yes. So if those who want to go into a headstand who knows how, feel free to do that as well. We're going to hang out here and play around five more breaths. <sighs> Three more breaths. Maybe we can rock our body from side to side and our white leg get notice and have that feels. Opening up our hips a little bit more. Allowing our head to sway and flow from side to side here. Allowing our bodies to flow from side to side. Completely feeling loose. Just simply relaxing here. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, coming into a wide-legged half forward fold, chin slightly up. We are in our half. As we take our left hand and connect our left hand towards our right foot, feeling that crossover stretch here. Left hand to right foot. We're gonna take this right hand and wrap it around our backs, like we do when we're in a thread the needle. We're gonna gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling this wide-legged spinal twist. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down and get lost in this pose. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale back to center, half forward fold. Taking this right hand, connecting it to our left foot. Taking our left hand, wrapping it around our backs like we do on our thread and needle. As we gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that stretch here. Four breaths. Our bodies are completely relaxed. Two more breaths. We exhale back to center. We are in our half forward fold, taking our feet and pointing our toes outwards away from our bodies. As we flow, we're going to bend our knees flowing into our goddess stance here. So we're now in our goddess. We're going to work our lower parts of our bodies just a little bit more here. So we are in our goddess. We can have our palms on our thighs. We can bring our palms at heart center, or we can come into our cactus hands. We may be feeling this pose all over our thighs, all over our quads, even down the lower parts of our legs as well, and our calves. <sighs> and I see people are already doing it. Yes, y'all know how we do. We rock from side to side here if we choose. We also pulse up and down if we choose. And if we, if we are eating right and we are doing these leg poses every day or a couple times a week, Give it till summer and watch our bodies look different in our jeans. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. <sighs> Finding our pause, breathing up to our standing star, straightening out our legs. Our palms are off towards the side, chest is up, chin slightly up as we feel like we are a star because we are a star. <sighs> <sighs> Nice natural breaths here as we feel and enjoy this moment right here, right now. Self-care. Two more breaths. <sighs> Breathe in. Exhale back down to goddess. We are in our goddess stance here. Yes. Hovering over our mat. Knees are bent. Building strength all around our legs. And we can pause it if we choose. We can stay still if we choose, and we can rock. May we freestyle and our guidance for four more breaths. <sighs> our bodies are nice and warm here. Keep on going, we're almost done. Two more breaths. <sighs> Whew. I am sweating, two more breaths, bonus here. <sighs> 
Exhale to start. Stand up. Straighten those legs. Palms off towards the side. <sighs> Relax in the body. Palms are off. Chest is up. Chin slightly up. Feeling like a star. Because we are a star. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Nice deep breaths here. As we breathe in, exhale back down to this goddess. Last goddess here, hanging out here, going as low as we choose. Goddess hands, prayer hands, whatever you choose. Freestyling, four breaths. Whew. Two more breaths. And of course, we're gonna do a bonus. <sighs> bonus, two more breaths. Ooh, feeling that burn, y'all. <sighs> Finding our pause. Complete forward fold, straightening those legs. Allowing my torso to relax. Oh, feeling this counter stretch here. Relax in the body. <sighs> Natural breaths, allowing our head to completely fall over here. Eyes are closed, your gaze down. Feeling our heart rate regulates. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Come to that half forward fold. We are in our wide legged half forward fold, pointing our feet towards the outside of the room, bending our feet, our knees, coming back into that goddess. But this time our palms are going to relax on our thighs, right above our knees, as we do a goddess twist, allowing our right part of our body to twist towards the left, gazing over that left shoulder. <sighs> Exhale back to center. Left side of our body, twist towards the right, goddess twist, opposite side, gazing over that right shoulder. Lower back to center, goddess twist, opposite side. Lower back to center, one more time, goddess twist. Exhale back to center, complete forward fold. <sighs> nice deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Walking our feet together, bringing our hands to the front, down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs. Gazing back at our feet, walking our dog. Exhale to up dog. Breathing to high plank. As we come on down to a low plank or chaturanga, hugging over our low, hovering over our yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale to our sphinx. We are on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from the ears. Chin slightly up, eyes are closed, the gaze down. Natural breath. And if we choose, maybe we can come into a sleep pose by crossing both our arms in front of us, relaxing our forehead or our chin downward on the palms of our hands. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt completely forward. Noticing how this regulates the heartbeat, how it relaxes the mind and body. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken out of that pose. 
swimming our hands in front of us, coming into a Superman or Supergirl. Palms are in front of us, feet are off the earth. We'll feel this in the lower parts of our backs as well as our gluteus maximus. Chest is slightly off the earth. And maybe we can rock like we're flying from side to side if we choose. Three breaths, gaze and forward. As we swim my hands to the back of us, coming into a locust pose, our palms are upwards towards the ceiling. Feet, legs are still off the earth. Our chest comes even higher off the earth. Chin slightly up, three breaths. As we come into a bow pose, connecting our right hand to our right foot, and then our left hand to our left foot, we are in our full bow if we choose, noticing how our chest comes even higher off the earth. Chin up. This is a nice deep back bend. This bow pose is a nice prep pose also for tiger. Three breaths. As we relax down, coming back to that locust. Swimming our hands forward, coming back into that Superman, Supergirl. Bringing our palms back inwards, relaxing our bodies down, flowing our forehead or our cheeks onto our forearms, onto our palms of our hands. We are back in our sleep pose. Four breaths. Allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward. With our eyes closed or gaze down. Our legs are completely relaxed here. Our minds are completely relaxed here. With our heart chakra connected to the earth, may we use this time to focus on self and go inward. Eight natural breaths. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly awaken, come into our Sphinx pose, we are back on our forearms. Shoulders are relaxed away from our ears. Chin slightly up as we continue to gaze down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Staying on our forearms as we come onto our knees, walking our knees towards our torso, we're gonna flow into a puppy pose or a child's pose. Whatever feels good for you, wide-legged. We could be in an extended with our arms in front of us, or we can bring our palms towards our feet, whatever feels good for you, with our eyes closed. We're going to hang out here for more breaths. Two more breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles behind us, finding our bodies in a seated position. 
I'm going to come into a cow face where you find any seated pose that feels good for you. Eyes are still gazed down or closed. Our tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our shoulders are relaxed down away from the ears. Our forehead is relaxed. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles, features are relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum as we continue to gaze down. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for ourselves. For as we all know, we cannot pour from an empty cup. We must do for ourselves if we want to do for anyone else. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care here with you today. For it truly was a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.